Welcome. Let's take a moment together and close our eyes. Imagine being profoundly comfortable and supported on a massage table, warm and cozy with soft music playing in the background. You're starting to feel grounded and relaxed. As you take a deep breath, another feeling encroaches, an unanticipated feeling in your abdomen, a fullness, a pressure. Let it out. <laughs> when our bodies relax, everything relaxes. It's a natural response. I have farted during a massage, and I was the one giving the massage. <laughs> I have also had bloody noses, cried, laughed so hard I nearly peed, sneezed, coughed, and so many things, all while giving a massage. If you're truly worried about passing gas during a massage, which most of us are going to do at some point or another, there's a simple solution. Go to a massage therapist who has a dog. You can always blame the fart on the dog. <laughs> this is Kale. She's been joining me in the office since she was a young pup, and it's hard to say which of us loves our job the most. At least once a week, Kale will stand up, do a perfectly executed downward dog, lift her tail, and let out the most endearing toot. As my Mima used to say, more room out than in. My Mima also used to tell her friends I worked in a massage parlor. She grew up in a time before massage therapy was popular and prevalent, and I suppose through her 93 years on earth, parlor was a perfectly acceptable word. Before I became a massage therapist, I didn't know what the word parlor implied. My own health issues led me to massage at an early age. One day when I was about 16, I saw a neon sign that said massage. I walked into the building and before I even had a chance to ask about booking a session, I was escorted out by a screaming woman. It turns out that was a massage parlor. <laughs> My massage parlor, I mean office, is an old brick building from one, about one block from here. The building backs up to an alley, and every time a garbage or delivery truck drives through, I am overcome with a fear that the whole building might crumble down. I like to be prepared, so I created a valiant and detailed safety plan for my clients. First, I will heroically push them off the massage table. I will then have them tuck and roll their bodies under the table. Finally, using incredible strength, I will pull down my antique desk and position it to protect them from any shattering debris caused by the collapse of the brick wall. Maybe? <laughs> the great dichotomy of my life is the desire to be a zen-esque massage therapist while facing the reality that I still possess the, most of the traits that earned me the high school nickname Tigger. I like to lean into the latter by stockpiling a supply of dad jokes and bad puns, not as bad as Richie's, Laughter will always be a remarkable form of medicine. This is Keanu Reeves. He is not my client, and I am not his fan, but he does have some stellar moves in the Matrix. When a client has an involuntary leg twitch that sends a heel straight towards my face, I find my body bending backwards in slow motion, avoiding heel-to-face impact, a move I have yet to replicate in yoga class. Speaking of agility, one of the most impressive, albeit confusing, things I've witnessed while working, working happened before I moved to Bozeman. At the point in the session when I tented the sheets and asked the client to slide down and flip over, she did just that. When I set the sheets back down, where her face was just four seconds ago, I found her feet. <laughs> Time management is a vital piece of being a massage therapist. Sometimes we need just a bit more time to work on a problem area. This happened to me once while receiving a massage. When I got off the table to get dressed, I looked at the clock and realized she'd given me an extra 20 minutes and I had a client in five. I frantically texted my client and started running down Main Street toward my office. The delay had me frazzled. After settling in and beginning the massage, a thought occurred. Wasn't I wearing underwear today? <laughs> Don't worry, these are prop panties. I dropped the underwear into my laundry bag, used a bit of hand sani, and proceeded with the session as if I wasn't accidentally commando. <laughs> I actually enjoy massage music. Several years ago, I was massaging at a sporting event. They wanted some music for the sound system, so I loaned them my iPod. It consists of 5% Christmas music, 15% various genres like bluegrass and hits from the 90s, and 80% massage music. They returned my iPod after 20 minutes. <laughs> 
Laundry is my least favorite part of being a massage therapist, but on the plus side, I have an abundance of sheets available to make epic blanket forts and spooky costumes. Side note, I don't take sheet from no one, but if you want, I can give you sheet. I got a lot of good sheet to get rid of. <laughs> being a massage therapist isn't hard, especially when you love your work. Building a business was hard. It took patience, strategy, creativity, frugality, and a period of several months of living in my 67 VW bus back when a hashtag was a pound sign and van life wasn't yet a thing. <laughs> in massage school, we were told that the average massage career would only last three to five years. This was based on physical burnout and unmet financial needs. 20 years later, this stat hasn't changed. Fresh out of school, new massage therapists either find themselves working for someone else, which could lead to burnout and reduced wage, or starting their own practice with few clients and a lot of overhead. I found a way to bridge the gap between school and the reality of a business by starting a mentorship program, which I call Launch Therapist. This program allows a massage therapist to build a private practice at their own pace, retain clientele, and learn the nuances of running a business, all while making a very sustainable wage. Hands down, pun intended, the best part of being a massage therapist is my clients. I love being able to celebrate the big moments and the small with them. I love sharing laughter and sometimes tears. I love the trust, the connection, and the joy we have together. Each of them holds a sacred space in my life. I've had so much fun putting this pachacha together, and I've truly loved sharing a few stories from the other side of the massage table. You are an amazing audience, even though I can't see you. I imagine there are one or two of you out there who I've massaged, so to you, one final thing. It's nice to see you with your clothes on. <laughs>